And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Aurelian Soul. It's going to be our first donation deck of the day. We got three new donation decks to try out. Um, so these are viewer submitted decks. We're going to be playing Yasuo Aurelian Soul. We, we've tried this deck, uh, a similar deck to this before with Yasuo and a bunch of invoke cards. And it works pretty well. Um, so kind of looking at our deck, we're going to be uh, we're going to be recalling our own allies. Sometimes we have a couple of recalls. We got a shadow shift in here, so we can we can uh, recall our own allies so that we can invoke more. We got Solari Priestess, Moon Dreamer, um, some good invoke cards there. Because so basically, because the reason why we have those, and then we also have like this this top end of like you know really in soul very powerful invoke card. The reason why we have all this invoke stuff to go with Yasuo is because Yasuo decks really struggle on winning games when they don't draw Yasuo, right? Like, because then you just play all this stun and uh, recall and stuff, and and uh, you're usually just kind of spinning your wheels while you're looking for Yasuo, and um, it's difficult to win the games. And so pairing it with Targon means that we can play a lot longer game, because Targon has all these invoke cards, and so we can have not only a lot longer game, but then also just a... a pretty powerful game for whenever we don't have Yasuo, we still have a good chance. Plus, the longer the game, the easier it is to find Yasuo and then turn on the rest of our deck. Also, with the Solari Priestess being our invoke card, it can get the four mana invoke card that um, written in stars, they can go find a champion um, that can help us tutor up Yasuo. So that's a way for us to tutor Yasuo. Besides that, we have a bunch of defensive tools. Uh, we have like Fae Blade Twirler in here. It's gonna be pretty good. Uh, both Concussive Palm and Will of Ionia. We got both of those. Uh, good uh, um, interaction from the region Ionia. A bunch of Hush, because that card's awesome. Now we're gonna be doing something similar to what we did last night with the Mono Targon deck that worked really well. Basically, Divergent Paths is kind of a necessary card to play right now because Grand Plaza is really really good and it's also very very popular and so it's it's really difficult to beat grand plaza decks honestly it is and so i think that uh landmark removal is just a must and so we have two divergent paths in here just to have a couple of landmark removal cards but then against decks that aren't playing landmarks you know like this this card isn't very versatile when you're talking about like aftershock and pnz that card's like the best landmark removal spell because it's really versatile you can just do three damage to anything that card's good against everybody even uh the noxus removal spell that kills a damaged ally or a landmark you know you can usually find or sorry damaged enemy or a landmark you can usually find damaged enemies but this one's just draw a landmark and so we're gonna throw one targon's peak in our deck even though we're not built around targon's peak but um in the matchups that like our opponents playing like a longer game and they're not playing landmarks uh a targon's peak could be pretty good for us because we have all these invoke cards, so we're going to have a really full hand. We have the recall that puts stuff back into our hand, so we're going to have a really full hand. So we're going to be able to continually spend all of our mana every turn, even if we have something cost zero. So we'll be able to have Targon's Peak make something cost zero in our hand, so we'll be able to empty our hand a little bit better, but we're still going to keep refilling it with all of the invoke cards. Plus, it's never bad to have zero mana really in soul if that ever uh, comes out or you know like maybe you have like a zero mana Yasuo so then you get to play Yasuo and have like you know your deny protection or you know zero mana deny or you know the, all that kind of stuff so it should work okay in our deck it's not what our deck is built around but we're basically playing it because we have to play divergent paths um, because of how good the grand plaza is all right but anyway let's get to, get to the games we're gonna go play five games in ranked we're playing Yasuo really and soul over there in ranked Probably won't be the fastest games. This deck's gonna take a little while because we're gonna be full on control. Okay, we got Timo Sejuani, but then they also have an Ezreal in their deck. But this is probably gonna be like a Timo Sejuani deck. All right, we'll start predictions. If y'all want to vote, if y'all want to vote whether we're going to win or lose. Prediction has started. Okay, we're going to Mulligan Divergent Paths. I don't really, I don't think they're going to be playing any landmarks. And let's get rid of Concussive Palm. I'll keep Will of, no, we're going to Mulligan Will of Ionia also. I like Will of Ionia, but 
it's not a card that we're not like we wouldn't need this card for a very long time so we can go ahead and we'll get it but i assume that they're going to be a starlet seer deck and starlet seer is going to be buffing up the units in their own deck and so will of ionia Think you're fast? Cute. can bounce those big units try to keep up 19. I'm just going to get both Blade Twirlers in play. And get that going. You know, we have the Blade Twirler Yasuo part of our deck. We don't necessarily need the Invoke right now. <laughs> Three puff caps. We draw one immediately. That's pretty nice for their Sejuani. Well, recalling... I don't, I don't know if we need to recall one of those right now. Some things never dull. I'll just attack for four. They're going to take it. And then I guess I'm playing Moon Dreamer just because it uses my mana a lot better than playing Solari Priestess. Have a mushroom. Have three. That's pretty nice. It's going to start doing a whole bunch of damage. Oh, that's my favorite. Don't really want another seven mana card. But yeah, all these have three health. They have a good hand. Okay, finally, we got a stun card. I'm definitely considering casting a hush just like on one of the peddlers. I don't know if that's worth it though. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. So they have Sejuani, I'm going to want to keep Concussive Palm or Rule of Ionia for that. Okay, another bot. Three of those. Alright, I'm going to kill the Popcat Peddler. Or not. Better take cover. Can you improve perfection? They're just living the dream over there. Does the wind flee, or does it They're living the dream. Maybe I should have gone I probably should have just done the damage to both peddlers. So Yasuo will deal two damage to each of these. Here's our chance. Underestimate. I dare you. Alright, we got these to be bigger threats. Certainly considering playing the serpent over the priestess, where the serpent can challenge. And then we have to obliterate our priestess. I think that's probably worth it. And yes, I will trade Yone for Ballistic Bot. So yeah, we have to get rid of their engine. Just living the dream.
Cool. I'll take that. I still feel pretty good about winning this with on the back of these blade twirlers. Even though we're gonna be drawing about two puff caps a card. Definitely keeping Will of Ioni available. If they play Sejuani, we gotta bounce. Sejuani with Will of Ionia. It's kind of weird they're an Ezreal deck. Whenever they're playing an Ezreal over the third Sejuani or the third Teemo. Probably the third Sejuani, I guess, because it costs 6 mana. The Winter's Claw endures! Bow to no one. So I know it's unfortunate. I'm not, you know, like I'm not doing the two damage to the Sejuani now because I silenced my Yasuo. But that's not really that big of a deal because, you know, Sejuani would survive anyway. But I'm making it so Yasuo doesn't have... Um... Doesn't have Vulnerable. Okay, I think we should be good as long as we don't draw four puff caps. Because these are all going to be lethal attackers. Not four puff caps, please. mind about us being good yeah good card oh wait wait okay so if I hush if I hush the blade twirler just goes to one power it doesn't go back to seven right because it doesn't it, it won't have any of this right so it'll just go to one one power and then it's not like I can't concuss a palm it Yeah, I, this, there's there's nothing for me to do. I guess I could try. Because um, I'm drawing two pop caps here anyway. Yeah. That was just the dream, you know, triple ballistic bot, double puff cap peddler. That that's the dream. Sun doesn't affect harsh winds at all. Go hard. We should be able to play a pretty good late game against Go Hard. Alright, so we got Priestess plus Recall Priestess. So I like that. Don't really need the Bastion to save anything right now. Yeah, yep, that happens sometimes. Yeah, they had a great hand. You know, the triple triple ballistic bot, double peddler, plus, you know, the multiple protection spells to protect the peddler were both very good. And, uh, you know, then the Sejuani, maybe, you know, use the Will of Ionia like that, and then the Harsh Winds. You know, like, they, they had exactly what they needed each time, so GG's. Let's go with... Meteor Shower, like, could be necessary for killing, like, a Twisted Fate, if, like, they just go Twisted Fate next turn. I do have the ability to recall and replay looking for more removal. I kind of want to get the Traveler. This Traveler could be awesome as far as recalling and everything as well. Alright, cool. We obliterated one go hard. That's good. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. 
That means no twist of fate this turn, so that's good. Guess I want written in stars. The immortal fire does seem pretty good against Go Hard as well, though. They kill it, it comes back. Yeah, that seems really good. I am the traveler. A game. Go on then. cards in hand what I'm considering doing which is which is pretty cheeky but I'm considering just recalling my traveler and then passing turn and seeing because if they don't have a one mana unit then they have to I'm gonna do this if they don't have a one mana unit then they have 10 cards and they're just gonna be obliterating the top card of their deck which will hopefully be a twisted fate oh they do have a one mana unit all right, well, they have the one mana unit, so we'll just play another Traveler. I am more myself than ever. I guess he's taking either one, Traveler or Meteor Shower. I don't think it's Golden Sister. Golden Sister doesn't match up very well against Packer Bags. Um, I'm going to take Traveler. Warms the heart and lights the way. No, if if I would recall there, it wouldn't yeah. cancel the Go Hard. The Go Hard would still... As far as I know, even if you get rid of the target, the Go Hard still puts the two copies back into their deck and still counts. Soak it in. As far as I know. Yeah, they get the copies, yeah. Thought so. Let's get to it. Reconsider. Believe or burn. Could hush the spray fin and block the spray fin. Back heretic. Still have the one mana for Go Hard. So that is the problem with the serpent is Go Hard. Ooh. Probably just need cards to cost less. Let my stars guide all travelers on. Gotta go with the flow. Mm. Hey, Mr. Toastly. Merry Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, that was another option of, of hushing the Twisted Fate for the Quick Attack to trade. 
instead. That could have been a better option. Gotta kill Twisted Fate. Alright, Gucci with the donation deck for a Karma Aurelian Soul deck. Open your eyes. Put me down to 10. That down. Didn't know the boss had said for you. Don't know much, do you? Karma a really soul. That's a great, great glimpse beyond. Yuck. Blade never gets any lighter. They should just have pack your bags. I don't really like our chances of winning right now. chances of winning right now. Let's go hard deck's pretty good. Alright, Demacia Freljord. So this deck, I feel pretty good about this one. Because um, this deck's going to be playing, you know, more singular big threats, I would assume, with Sejuani, Trindamir, that kind of stuff. So that's going to make our Concussive Palms and our Will of Ionia's better instead of a deck that goes wide with a whole bunch of two power things like the Go Hard Dead. Alright, so I'll send back Yone, but Yone, I don't even know if I really should be sending back Yone. Basically M because it costs 7 mana, but we do already have, you know, a 2, a 3, a 4. Um, then, you know, our draw steps can kind of figure out turns 5 to turn 6. Because Yone, of course, is very good once you have Yasuo in play. And I'm not expecting them to have the most removal, probably single combat, concerted strike, that kind of stuff. But not the most. My shield bear is definitely a blocker. I don't need to play it on offense. On Let's play it here on defense. Unyielding light. Okay, got yeah, Gusto, you got a different version of this deck? Cool. They can't single combat and kill Yasuo. They could Concerted Strike. Joke 
Oh, well, now they can single combat. But I do have recall as some minor protection. I'm through with you. They want to use some kind of big pump spell for the Omen Hawk. I, you know, I have lots of answers for that. You think Shield Bear is too strong? It's, I kind of feel like that too. Like the plus zero plus four. That seems like a whole lot, doesn't it? it? Does kind of seem like a whole lot. You know, a three six for two mana. When like a three four for three mana is as big as you can have. Like should it be plus zero plus two and make it a three four? That is weird that it's it's so much, I feel like. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do. I'll go with Concussive Palm. Debating between that and William. Figure to keep William against like the more expensive cards that they're going to be playing, and make them spend a lot more mana instead of just respending three mana to replay that card. I do imagine that they are a Demacia landmark deck. You know how they're playing Demacia. I, I imagine they're playing the Demacia landmark. Divergent Path is just a must right now with with the Demacia Landmark decks. How they're kind of everywhere and how they're so good. It's just it's just a must to play Divergent Paths. So we're we're basically playing Divergent Paths because of that, because of how good those decks are, and then therefore we just kind of have a Targon's Peak in our deck because of needing. Because of needing like something to draw. As foretold. I see everything. That's very good for me, of course. Because <clears throat> Will of Ionia is just awesome against Battle Fury. see playing this Targon's Peak. We have just a ton of, you know, we have a ton of mana worth of stuff in hand. They are running out of cards. I, I could see just going Shield Bear Targon's Peak this turn. Do that or play like Traveler and whatever we find with Traveler. Because I want to Will of Ionia during their turn, right? I don't want to Will of Ionia this turn. I want to want to wait till their turn. And we, I don't really need to play, like, yeah, yeah I don't, we don't really want to play Yasuo right now, honestly. Alright, we'll go with this. And is that? It was my heart that led me here. My blade grows restless. And that is exactly why I took Falling Comet. Was Trindamir. So that's pretty strong, getting a, a three four that obliterates Trindamir. Pretty strong. This land is ours. Clad in shining sunlight. You cannot sway me. Is this what you seek? All right. Return anew. That'll hurt for this turn, but it'll be just fine. I want them to play Demacia Landmark. Come on. <laughs> play the Grand Plaza. I, don't, I honestly don't know if the Targon's Peak's even worth it anymore. Gets me 
the 3 2. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. The Winter's Claw! Let's take this outside. Oh, it's on. So if that card's another pump spell, we'll lose. This supposed to be down to three. If I block here, we go down to three also, but we get rid of the 5-5 five, five overwhelm. Well, that's definitely worth it. We go down to the same life total either way. Get rid of the 5-5 five, five overwhelm instead of the 3-3. Three, three. Now who's got the upper hand? My kind of lessons. I will follow this path until the end. Awesome. Really want to draw it, invoke cards. They're out there. I'll spot them. Hail, war mother. Drive them before us, Ira. Draw and vote cards. Yone also works. I guess I have to Yone right now. Yeah, I can't. I can't afford to pass. You have taken a dark path. You never did believe me. I Playing Demacia for something. Hopefully, it is landmark because. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can block that with the 6-6. Six, six. Yay. Bow to no. no one. So they can do two damage to me. Put me down to one. Wait, do I not behold another celestial card? I guess I will at the beginning of next turn, though. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll be fine. Let's take this outside. Attack! For the homestead! That's a bad attack. Like they should just only attack with Sejuani. Like they're just throwing away all this other stuff. Is there as always? Yeah, stream's going good. Yeah, like that's that's just throwing away everything else. <clears throat> they get to draw a card with Sentry. Recall then replay Aurelian Soul. The cosmos will collapse eventually. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make Aurelian Soul back to being a 10 10 again. Soul with Argon's Peak. Oh yeah, zero mana living legends. <laughs> They're gonna have to draw a really good card. I don't know what's gonna be, but it's gotta be something really good. Okay, it wasn't good enough. So there we go, Yasuo, Aurelian Soul, even with some dead cards in hand. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. That was pretty crazy. Timo Zoe, little one ones. But they're going to be a little elusive 1-1. One -one, so this is a matchup where Hush is going to be nice. 
Uh, we're gonna keep that. I don't know about Concussive Palm right now. Let's go ahead and mulligan it. We'll keep the Hush. <clears throat> We got both of our champions, but Aurelian Soul probably not doing anything for a little bit. All right, Zorzoi, Zor Zor all your channel points on win. All right, I will try to win with all your channel points on win. I will try my best. Is it worth playing the shield bear right now? I guess so. In shining sunlight. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Prime and ready. Scorching light. Alright, so this is gonna be the turn where I just save up my spell mana. Next turn be able to have like Yasuo plus Hush. Yeah, it may, it may have uh, already gone to the, you know, may have ended. You know, you only had two minutes total, so maybe it was too late by the time you checked. Welcome to try. You cannot sway me. So it doesn't really matter Fall. which one's which. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to attacks immediately with both of these. I wouldn't mind them blocking with either of those. Uh, blade Twirler is a good draw. Maybe I shouldn't have gone to attacks immediately. I go blade. I play Blade Twirler. I can because I'm. I'm probably gonna be concussive palming the Teemo, right? To try to kill the Teemo. Cool. Yeah. See, I like that trade. That's a good trade. Actually, I'll play just the Moon Dreamer first. Um, Wanna know about that one, hmm? I don't know about like a falling comment right now. Bad for the teeth, though. I'll just take this super big, the Great Beyond. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the rules. With footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So Bastion stops this. Why am I not blocking Mentor? <laughs> I should be blocking Mentor. I just focused on doing this. My 3-5 should be blocking Mentor. Suit up's pretty nice. Now who's got the upper hand? Yeah, Cito's pretty nice. To not allow them to block there. Once I said papers, now faces. Just 
Just gonna do this right now to just kind of use some mana. Even though they can obviously just simply replay it again. But it resets to being a 1-1 one, one instead of a 5-3. Oh, hey, instead of me wasting all my mana. Hey. Relax. You know, maybe I should be doing that during combat next turn. Yeah, maybe I should. Don't want to waste all that mana. Alright, never punished. Got a Concussive Palm. Never punished. Do they have a Bastion? No Bastion, please. No Bastion. Okay, good. Here's our chance. Underestimate. I dare you. Okay, so I could go just right to attack, so I could play this Great Beyond first. Uh, Great Beyond, you know, just covering up a 3-2. I mean, I might as well play the Great Beyond. Yeah, like, I, I might as well. That'd be a reason not to. But. So one of their two champions has to block the Great Beyond, and then the Great Beyond can uh, block the either the other. Sorry, whenever they attack the next turn. As long as we don't, you know, draw all eight of these puff caps, like, on one card, we should be pretty good. And, and that, that also, you know, I don't want to draw my landmark anyway, like, with the divergent paths, because I don't want to just even give myself the opportunity to draw all those other puff caps. Huh. Huh. Well... I guess I block that and stun Teemo. They just got one mana, so we should be good. Let's go with another. The heavens diminish without my attention. They should be playing this gem on on like the Nandroid. Like they could represent lethal. Okay, there they go. That does make it a 5 3. Level up, Yasuo. My own. And then we're going to have leveled up Aurelian Soul. All right, we'll just go immediately to attacks. I learned my lesson yesterday. <laughs> not even when you have leveled up early and so not to just sit around and play a bunch of cool zero mana celestials because they can just kill you. Now they'll pay attention. Life and death on the plane's edge. Okay, we're going to have, have y'all do the lethal damage. Okay, there we go. GG's. 
two and two. I will regain my honor. We're pretty good at, at decks that are trying to buff up units. We're pretty good there. Guess not. All right, Draven Ezreal. We could finish with a win here and get a winning record in rank with Yasuo. That'd be cool. Huh. This is a difficult matchup to mulligan against. All these cards are, are perfectly fine, but, you know, do we, like, if they have, like, an early Ezreal, maybe we want the Hush. But if they don't, maybe we don't want Hush. I guess Hush is good against, like, an attacking Draven or Ezreal. Um, Deny could be good against more expensive spells, but I guess they don't really have that many expensive spells. I guess I'll, I'll mulligan Deny. We'll keep Moon Dreamer. No, not Divergent Paths. If we go 3-2 and two with a Yasuo deck where we have two completely dead cards, that'll be pretty good, right? Because, like, we have never played Divergent Paths. So we just have, like, two cards in our deck that don't have any text. Want to see these moves up close? Because we haven't played against any Grand Plaza or other landmarks. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. I like that shield bearer draw. Cause shield bearer is a great blocker. That was a really good shield bearer draw for this turn. I was hoping they were going to have a champion that we'd be able to block, you know, with Hush pairing with it. But yeah, that Shield Bear was a great blocker this turn. That, you know, uh, bridged the gap to get to Moon Dreamer. Mm. Traveler or Meteor Shower? I guess traveler. Constellations are stories in the sky. So that worked out pretty well. One size that papers now faces. Time for a true display of skill. Yeah, Shield Bear is like the best blocker for sure. Right early on in the game. So good. So this is an Ezreal's Mystic Shot. So denying this takes out one Ezreal from their deck. Assuming we get to hush and block that Ezreal, that can take out another Ezreal from their deck. Um, so I, I can't play Traveler and Hush. Obviously, I'm going to play Hush this turn. So it's, yeah, I can play Blade Twirler or Shield Bearer. Um, I guess I'll play the Blade Twirler. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Bull Elnuk's a great, a great one. I don't miss. That's a great one. Oh, it's on. You cannot sway me. Come on, chase. The Ezreal right now makes a Mystic Shot they can't cast, so it's not as important for Hush right now. Gonna take the cheaper card, the cheapest card. In the name of the Solari. I, 
figured I'd have time to kill the Ezreal right now also, and I just saved... <clears throat> so I wanted to save the two life. So I'm bouncing Captain Farron. Can't give them three more decimates, can I? I guess I just trade with Captain Farron. Going down to nine. Oh, it's on. Eleven. Baby is engaged. Oh, that's a harvest run right there. So I'm worried about I know I could have like switched like these two in the middle and had the three five block the four three and the three two block the one three, right? And then I could have kept both of my things alive instead of having the three two die. I was worried about like Mystic Shot, right? If I do that block, they Mystic Shot my 3 2, they keep their S0 alive. I'm worried about that. Golden Sister, that can be some Nexus healing. Some much needed Nexus healing. They want to have their 4 4 block one of my 3 4s and let me keep the Golden Sister alive. I'm going to take that. Oh, right. They'd make that thing a, a 3 3 with the Mushroom Cloud. Okay, maybe it wasn't the best attack right there. Alright, but we're back to 10. Stop. So close to dying. And Captain Farron making three decimates is so ridiculous. Come on. Another one? Okay, well, as, as long as I don't draw a puff cap and they don't have any fast speed damage, you know, maybe we can, you know, maybe we can win this. So no puff cap, just draw the card. No. Come on, 26 cards and eight puff caps. That's kind of unfortunate that like the the last three cards basically have like all had like a one puff cap, so we've drawn three of the ten puff caps. That's pretty unfortunate because you know basically I was gonna try to stun these two, and represent attacking for nineteen. That was my best bet. But obviously now I just whatever I play they decimate. Captain Farron. Yeah, we drew one every turn. Yep. Every turn we drew a puck out. Yeah, I mean, our deck, our deck did perform, you know, pretty decent. Still two and three. Not bad for ranked. You know, like, we were we were competitive for sure. Like, I, I know Divergent Pass did absolutely nothing, but I still think it's necessary. We just didn't play against any of the Grand Plaza decks, but we could have definitely just played against a bunch of Grand Plaza decks because over the last two days... That's the deck that I've been playing against the most, you know, for sure. Multiple, multiple decks over the past two days, I've played against like three straight of the Grand Plaza decks. So I think it's just kind of a necessity in here. 
Um, Targon's Peak was okay. You know, like, it's, again, just kind of a necessity. Um, I wouldn't mind another earlier blocker, or... I guess another card... I don't like Tasty Fae Folk. I guess that's that's something. I don't like this card too much. Because we saw there, it's it's just so weak to removal, even though it is lifesteal. I think it's too weak to removal. I think you need a better blocker that doesn't die so easily. Um, I'm not sure what that is, though. Maybe there's nothing better. The Shield Bearer was awesome. Because, like, the, the burn decks where you need it are just going to kill it. Maybe Spacey Sketcher? Spacey Sketcher does... I do like Spacey Sketcher. The invoking a, a Celestial that costs... A Celestial card that costs three or less because you have the, the double stun card. That, of course, that card is is just amazing at enabling your Yasuo and your Fey Blade Twirler and stuff like that. And Spacey Sketcher would allow us to discard, you know, like in matchups where we don't need Divergent Paths at all, we could discard it. Yeah, so maybe maybe that's just the card over the, the Fey Folk. Good morning, Violet. Yeah, I know there's not like always always like good cards to discard, but some sometimes you just have like too much like expensive stuff in hand also that sometimes you just have to discard, you know, some kind of expensive card to just get cheaper stuff against the aggro decks. And Spacey Sketcher allows you to do that. The three mana double stun though is really, really strong. And it's like You know, it'd be like the reason to play Spacey Sketcher. You'd be getting that card. I don't know what the best option though in that slot is. If if we want if you want two cards against aggro against just like early attackers and stuff like that, I don't know what I don't know what the best option is. I don't know if, if Tasty Fae Folk or the Spacey Sketcher. Yeah, we're not a Targon's Peak deck, but we we do have a ton of invokes. So the reason why we have Targon's Peak Violet is just to have just to have a landmark to draw with divergent paths. But you do have like a ton of invoke cards in here that you you can end up with a, a bunch of expensive stuff in hand. Um, and you know, all these spells cost four plus mana also. You can end up with a, a bunch of cards in hand and a bunch of expensive stuff in hand for Targon's Peak. The Targon's Peak was good for us. You know, it's a one of, it's not what our deck's built around. Um, but it did, you know, it, it did some stuff whenever we had it in the two games that we played it. I'm not sure. I would, I would kind of recommend trying out Spacey Sketcher. I think that I, I think that I would try out Spacey Sketcher over, over the Tasty Fae Folk. Um, I think I would give that card a try. Mountain Goat's another good option. It just, you know, costs one less mana, but you know, you make those gems that are kind of nice. Um, I don't know if we're going to, like, you know, maybe you want, like, Starry Scamp if we're going to be able to, But, like, we don't behold fast enough, I don't know, I don't think, for Starry Scamp. Um, Sleepy, honestly, Sleepy Trouble Bubble is is actually pretty good. This card's actually pretty good. You know, like, stun, two mana, slow speed stun, but then also then deal four to something that's stunned. So you get to, you can use this for removal for, like, the different champions. Uh, you know, like your your Ezreal, your Callista, your Lucian, your Draven, your Misfortune, all of that kind of stuff it can be a slower removal spell for anything. I would, I would, that's what I would do. I would recommend just trying out Spacey Sketcher instead. Like it, it can, you know, it can get rid of the Divergent Paths and the, the matchups you don't need it. Um, and it can do a lot. You know, like the Invoke cards, that, the Celestial cards that cost three or less are usually pretty powerful and, and, uh, and everything. And so... I would I'd would recommend trying that. It can kind of fix your hand a little bit. Um but that yeah, this is a this is a card to watch for though. Sleepy Trouble Bubble is not bad. That's a card to be considering. Alright, but that's oh my gosh, it's been an hour and a half. Alright, we gotta get to some other decks. Alright, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Aurelian Soul Yasuo. Let me know, you know, uh what you do for this if you would change up anything um you know or anything like that i think i think there's something here with yasuo and invoke all right but that's it here uh thank you so much for watching everybody and i will see you for the next video